Thank you very much. Iraqi media reports that the security advisor to Prime Minister Sudani has been strongly critical of your nominee for ambassador, saying she is ignorant of Iraq's current situation, is interfering in Iraq's internal affairs, and is disrespectful toward its neighbors. What is your comment? As you know, Tracy at the Senate just talked about militia roles, who they attacked U.S. brands last week and so I'm, uh, I have a I, I'm question. not going to uh, respond specifically other than to say that the president has put forward a very capable, qualified nominee for ambassador to Iraq, and we urge a swift confirmation. And another question is last week, the G7 in its final communicate strongly criticized Iran, including for its nuclear program. It is support for Russia against Ukraine. It is destabilizing activities in the Middle East and it is human rights violation. Many of the participants has never criticized Iran in such strong terms before. Do you see this as a violation of your view that you are right about what Iran is doing and how to respond? So we um, uh, obviously welcome the G7 speaking with one united voice about the threat that Iran poses and the threat that it's destabilizing uh, activities pose. And yes, we have seen a growing uh, agreement on that question internationally, not just with our G7 partners, but with other countries around the world.